Hello there, everybody. Welcome to our morning meditation. I'm Reverend Edith Washington Woods, Senior Minister here at Unity San Diego. And welcome to this day. You know, in the Daily Word today, um, it's talking about protection and how we're protected from, you know, things that happen in our life. And what I mean by that is when we consider that there is an indwelling presence that is within us, this indwelling presence that we call spirit, that we call God, that we call universal presence, that that is our protection. Because it's not like it's outside of us. It's not that. It's actually within us. It is within us. It's outside of us. It just, it, it flows. It flows in through and as everything. It flows in through and as everything and everyone. And so I was looking at the, the Bible verse that I'm using today from Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 and it says, keep your heart with all vigilance for from it flows the springs of life. So this month, our, our spiritual power of the month is life. And it's talking about this spring, this, you know, it, it, think about the fact that we have, we all have red blood cells and white blood cells and, and it flows. There's this, this um, uh, flow that happens with it. And the flow is happening right now. The flow of our red and white blood cells are flowing throughout our entire body and we don't have to do anything to it we can't we can't say hey red blood cells I want you to flow through my body <laughs> we can't do that it just flows so when we consider that Bible verse and that um, with all of our heart we know that it flows through the springs of life just thinking about the springs that our, our blood cells and how they're flowing now if you would consider that the flow of spirit God infinite presence is the same kind of flow that we don't have to direct it it just happens it just happens and isn't that a wonderful thing to know at the same time, our red blood cells and white blood cells, they, they play a vital role in our body. And they're protecting our body. Like the white blood cells are like the, the um, they're like the fighter pilots. And they're, they're um, fighting off anything that comes into our, our, you know, in our atmosphere, like right outside of our body. If something is happening, the white blood cells are there and they're just like little, Pac women, you know, remember Pac Man that uh, people used to play, oh, I don't know, 25 years or something ago? And they had the Pac Man and then they had the Pac Woman and they would just go like this. <laughs> and, and I didn't play it much, but I knew a lot of people that did, that were my age and younger. And, and everyone wanted to play Pac Man or Pac Woman. And it's like that. Pac Man goes cross like that and, and just kind of gobbles up all of the things that are not okay anything that's in its path and that's what our white blood cells do they are protecting us so that the red blood cells can then flow and feed our bone marrow was well, like that with spirit we can't see it now we can see you know, that our blood is red if we cut, but we can't see the distinction between red and white unless we look under, a, you know, a certain types of microscopes or, or we do, um, you know, blood tests that tests how many red blood cells we have, how many white blood cells and platelets and all those kind of things, yummy things that are inside of our, our bloodstream. But we can affirm that the spring of life is there. We can affirm the same thing for our spiritual connection 
that it's there. You know, it talked about in a reading on the Daily Word for today, it talked about um, a, a grounding that happens, that it's like a tree that has a tree trunk, and then I'm gonna add the roots that go into the ground and we're able to get grounded. So if we could consider that our protection is the strength of our body temple, the strength of our body temple, and that strength is, it, it, it's all in us, no matter what is happening in our life, at any given moment, the strength is there, like a tree with a trunk and roots. So we're going to take this into our time of, of prayer and meditation. I'd like to invite you to pray with me. And I'm going to gently close my eyes and invite you to do the same. Got my little prayer partner. It's a piece of a selenite um, crystal rock. There are rocks as far as I'm concerned. But I'm going to hold this in my hand while we're praying. I invite you to take a gentle breath in. And join me, if you will, in closing your eyes. And just gently allow the presence of our breath to, to flow as we acknowledge our breath. As we focus on our breath, we can actually take a gentle cleansing breath. And know that even if we are not consciously breathing, the breath is happening just like the flow that happens with our red and white blood cells. And we also affirm in this moment the spirit is flowing as well, flowing from the top of our head down through the bottom of our feet. And know, dear one, that we're joined by this connection we have. That we each have these ways about us that are uniquely ours, but it's also the same. That we simply and gently allow spirit to flow as us. And from this sacred space that we've created together, this is where we pray from. Spirit, infinite presence, divine love, and God of our own understanding. Take a moment to open our hearts even more and know that there is a divine flow that springs forth in, through, and as us. And we're asking for that intuitive knowingness to continue guiding our path, to continue leading and guiding our thoughts, our actions, and our reactions. We're asking for the indwelling presence of spirit to open up in us a way, in a way that we are able to know the depth of connection we have. And so we imagine in this moment as well, being connected with all there is, and to also know that there's nothing that separates us. We give thanks for the spiritual essence that we are, and that all are. In this moment we pray, and so it is. And now I invite you to gently take a moment to relax in the seat where you're sitting. 
to allow us to go into a deeper space as we go into the silence. Relaxing, releasing, relaxing, relaxing into the now. Perhaps even consciously allowing our shoulders to drop down toward the ground. <sighs> and also to take a conscious breath whenever we want. And in this moment, we connect even more fully and completely as we open our hearts even more, stretching the capacity of how we love and affirm. Mm. I am opening my heart. I am opening my heart to love. I am opening my heart to love. In the silence, we join our hearts and minds together and go deeper. opening my heart. I am opening my heart to love deeper. I am opening my heart to love deeper. And in this expanded consciousness, we imagine our heart, that it is radiating out love and the vibration of our heart is pouring out love to our entire body and it feels good. And our heart is vibrating at a level that is expansive and welcoming to all who are in our energy field. And we just be the love we came here to be. In this moment, we are assured of it. We're so assured of love in, through, and as our body. 
in this moment. We are. And so it is. Amen. And now if you could bring yourself gently back to the space and time. Mm, perhaps just moving your shoulders around like I am. Mm. And then just gently open your eyes if they're closed. And notice everything around us. Hey, everybody. Mm. Have a happy, happy day. Namaste and amen. Bye for now.